What's going on YouTube? So in this video, we'll be going over the fastest ways to complete Team Affinity Chapter 2. Whether you're a beginner or whether you are better or good at this game, this video should help you out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on so you guys can notify when every video goes live and be sure to like the video if you guys enjoy it. First, we're talking about exchanges. In exchanges, I would be exchanging any duplicates you have because you can get serious amount of XP towards Team Affinity, 30,000 to be exact, if you exchange 150,000 points worth of card. Now in this, you're gonna to wanna to go exchange some silvers. You can exchange some golds too if you want. Like I could exchange this Yanni Diaz, but maybe I'm the same for a roster update or whatever. But honestly, I would exchange the cheaper cards if I could exchange these and only exchange your duplicates so whether or not you can get 150,000 if you can't get that one try the 100,000 one for 20,000 try the 10 uh 50,000 one for 10,000 and so on and do multiple ones if you can next there is a extreme showdown for those that you are are good at the game you can play the extreme showdown the beginning of it starts on all-star and then goes hall of fame the final boss is on legend but if you do all the missions you'll only need two runs on legend within 20 out and that will give you 20,000 xp for each division totaling 120,000 total xp for ta there also is one extreme moment for each division that will reward you 10,000 xp it is going to be mostly like hall of fame difficulty Maybe Legend, but I think most of this is on Hall of Fame difficulty, and the missions do vary from hit a home run, hit two home runs, get on base four times, pitch nine innings, and get like 12 strikeouts, stuff like that. After that, there are repeatable missions with teams and chapter one and chapter two bosses. So you can actually get PXP with your chapter one bosses for 10,000 or 6,000 TA points. And once you get some chapter two bosses, you can also do it with the chapter two bosses as well. You can also play multiplayer, like play events and stuff like that. You can also play single player. There are also some single player missions, including the Hall of Fame and Legend missions. Once again, if you're better at the game, do these missions. I highly recommend them. The three home runs on Legend with players from that division, that will give you 10,000 XP. And then if you get 10 hits on Hall of Fame or higher, you get an additional 5,000 XP. And then it has like hits with chapter two. Chapter two LE bosses, you get 10 hits and you get 7,500 XP. Now, if that division has a pitcher, there will be pitching missions as well. For instance, it would be 10 strikeouts with the chapter two bosses will get you 10,000 XP as well. So if they have pitchers, you, you need 10 strikeouts. If they have hitters, you need 10 hits with those bosses once you achieve them. Now, what game mode should you guys be playing to get this done as fast as possible? Well, typically we've done conquest because you could get do the conquest quest and get additional stuff is done as well but honestly single player play versus cpu is going to be your best friend and it's going to be better than mini seasons mini seasons is going to be good if you want to grind some packs as well but the reason i don't like mini seasons for this because mini seasons you're facing god squads you're facing diamond overall cards diamond overall teams is gonna be harder to hit whether you play on rookie or not it will still be harder to hit because their hits per nine will be like 100 so you'll have a smaller pci even on rookie versus if you play versus a cpu and you play the colorado roxy rockies you'll have like a silver at best most of the time you'll have a bronze as a starting pitcher against your diamond squad and it's just gonna be easier to hit home runs on rookie veteran all-star hall of fame and legend if you just play versus cpu so if you're grinding cpu missions highly recommend play versus cpu colorado rockies they only have a 64 overall pitching even if you start your best pitcher you're facing like a bronze pitcher for the rockies so that's where i would start if you guys watch any of my previous videos or any of my live streams i was i was getting 20 runs on these guys on legend so definitely very very possible and totally recommend if you're grinding missions and single player missions to play versus cpu against the colorado rockies play at home don't play at costco play it like shield woods greatest games were kind of busted exabilos are terrible play at shield woods and you should be good now the other thing i like is the multiplayer missions because you can play these and you can play these in like events besides the ranked co-op stuff and the innings pitched in ranked co-op. You can do everything else and events, which is really, really nice. So the missions for these would be tally eight innings pitch, get 10 RBIs, 20 total bases, 
10 strikeouts, three stolen bases, five hits, three home runs, and tally five hits with the bosses, and you get 12,500. So if you want to play the online route, playing events or ranked, this is pretty good as well. And you're going to get more like PXP stuff, but I like the missions. Not a lot. There's no PXP missions for that. But the repeatable missions, you can do this as well in ranked or battle royale or events. All the PXP stuff is repeatable inside and online. The single player missions have to be versus the CPU, mini seasons or conquest. So keep that in mind when you are doing the single player missions. You have to be playing a single player mode. So there you have it. Those are my fastest ways to complete Team Affinity Chapter 2, depending on your skill level, whether you are a beginner, whether you're average at the game, or whether you are a good player. These tips can help you finish Team Affinity Chapter 2 as fast as possible. I would start whether, what, no matter your skill level, I start exchanges, exchange whatever car, cards or tier that you can do, and then start working on whatever you want to work on next. If you're a good player, maybe you want to do the extreme showdown and the extreme moment. If you're not so good, maybe you want to start with the single player missions, do some of these. If you are a good player, you might want to do the Hall of Fame and Legend missions. If you guys don't like playing, offline and you want to play multiplayer you can do the multiplayer missions if you don't want to play online and you want to do single player do the single player missions as well as the repeatable pxp missions and the best place to do this is play versus cpu against the colorado rockies at shield woods and so far my progress uh, with team infinity is 37 percent in the al east 15 percent in the nl east 17 percent in the al central 17% in the NL Central, 20% in the NL West, and finally 45% in the AL West. And AL West is so much because I've done pretty much everything. We've done the showdown. I did the extreme moments. I've also done a lot of the missions and stuff. I did the Legend and Hall of Fame missions. I've probably done a couple repeatable missions. I believe with the bosses, I already did a repeatable mission as well. So we got a lot done. And for exchanges, we've also done the final exchange, 150K. So that gave us 30,000 as well. So that's why we've gotten so far in the AL West. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for new, turn notifications on. So you guys get notified when every video goes live and I'll see you guys in the next one.